Hi and welcome to the second of two um, videos which I'm shooting today uh, to check out the performance of the Mark II PV power router on each of its uh, platforms that it normally runs on. Uh, this is the circuit that I've got set up. This is the all important three phase meter so that I can check the balance between um, import and export consumption and um, simulated generation. And uh, the two um, rigs that I'm checking this is a standard Emon TX rig that I've got set up, which has got the uh, independent voltage references, each of them with a pair of 470k resistors, so the VREFs do get pulled around a little bit by their respective coils. Um, but they are independent, so um, there seems to be no um, overall problem there. Uh, and this is um, one of my, a rig of my own design. It's got uh, one of Rich's PCBs on the left and another one for the on the right on another one for the trigger on the other side with a bit of paper just to uh, keep prying fingers out. It's got a standard Arduino Uno on there and uh, the two of them um, are coming out their output feeds um, to go to the dump load go through this handy box here. So each of the CTs is clipped around um, one wire, the smaller wire is actually the one I'm simulating my PV on and the other one, um, ignore the colours, they're both um, switch light. Um, that's allowing each of the CTs to um, check the balance between the uh, currents in the two directions. So it's all wired up here. The voltage coils for the three phase meter are taken care of independently so they're not biasing the situation. Um, so nothing happening here because there's no current flowing. If I put on the smallest amount of PV, and that's 750, and because it's not bright anymore, we get the, um, we can see the little illumination. Go around to our load. And now I've got a kettle. Uh, it's a three kilowatt kettle, so this should be flashing uh, roughly one time in four in its normal mode. And the all-important meter, um, we saw a tiny bit of drift earlier. Um, but it doesn't look to be doing any more now. So this shows that um, the box that we're testing now um, is pretty good. And it looks to me as though it's the Emon TX. Because the Emon TX is, is flashing away. This is Mark II iRev5. Um, so the green is the surplus power. And um, Oh, this, no, this is my own version. I've slightly upgraded the LEDs. So the red light at the top is telling me when the local load is on, and the green is the uh, surplus power. So that's that. Now, if I were to switch off that um, router and switch on the other one, so this must be uh, my design, which doesn't have any LEDs at the moment, so I don't think you're going to see much of what's going on there. But it's having the same effect. Um, we're not seeing any significant drift on there. And the kettle is coming on at just the same rate. So if I were to change the um, PV and put on 2 kilowatts rather than 750, then the kettle would come on much more, um, more often. Two cycles out of every three. The kettle's boiling up. And we are getting some drift. I don't know why this is, but the system, um, something must not be linear. We are getting some drift. So that's with my hardware. And if I switch over to the other hardware, it takes a little while to just settle itself down. And again, we're getting a bit, bit of drift there. There seems to be more drift in the direction of consumption as more PV um, becomes available. Um, but if people's meters are not responding like this, then maybe it's a, a measurement uh, error in the system. Um, who knows? Uh, before I shot this, I connected them up the other way around so that the routers were each um, connected with the other um, coil through the meter, um, three-phase meter, and it didn't really make any difference. So as far as I can tell, both hardware platforms give similar results. So whether you use um, a UNO and one of Rich's PCBs or equivalent on a strip board or whatever, 
or whether you go for the standard solution which is an Elon TX where um, you've basically got holes to put everything um, and you've got sockets to plug things into um, whichever uh, platform you use uh, Mark II PD route seems to work uh, equally well on both which is uh, a very good uh, note to finish on and the kettle's boiling time for a cup of so thanks for watching cheers for now